Your Majesty, Prince Ikari's forces grow by the day. We should send troops to root him out and... You needn't worry about that, Ageha. I've taken care of it. If he ever returns home, I'll have his head. The Dark Blood Blade. Sacred treasure of Clan Kool. Stained red by the countless souls it has taken. Hmm. A weapon that only I am worthy to wield. His lowborn mother has seen to it that Hikari will never truly be of Clan Ku. His impure blood is destined to be nothing more than rust on my blade. Here at last, the domain of Clan Men. It's a fine day for a reunion. I am Prince Ikari of Ku. I seek an audience with Lady Rai Mei. You will not pass, Lord Hikari. By Our Lady's command, leave now or be escorted by force. I recognize you. You were a vassal to Rai Mei. I don't wish to fight. I've only come here to speak with her. Is that so? If you would speak, then allow your blade to do the talking. I have Prepare no yourself. Blood boils. Here I go. Pride of Ku. Ah, you haven't lost your skill. Now, let me pass. That's enough. My lady.
How long has it been, Hikari? Three years since that battle? Raimei, Mugen has seized control of Ku. For the sake of our nation's future, I must see him dethroned. So I've come to you. I would have your spear by my side, the Spear of Levin. Together, we can bring an end to Mugen's tyranny. Please, Raimei. I fear I cannot do this without the strength of Clan Mei. You shouldn't have come here. Our friendship has long since ended. What? His Majesty has sent a decree. Any who find you are to kill you where you stand. Raimei. And so now I place my faith in my spear. Call down the Heaven's Judgment and strike down my enemies. I'll allow no one to harm Clan May. Hikari. Hikari. Mother? Where am I? Hmm? <laughs> Are you still asleep? You're in your room, silly boy. Time to wake up. We must greet our new vassals. Of course, Mother. Are you ready, Rai? Today, our clan swears fealty to Clan Ku. Clan Mei shall be the spear which leads the charge into the future and it shall be wielded by the desert's future rulers. Yes, brother. When war ends, the world shall know peace. The future we've dreamt of shall come. A bloodless future. A bright future. Keep that future in your mind's eye as you serve Clan Ku. I will, brother. I am Jin Mei, of Clan Mei. Today, we swear fealty to Clan Ku. I am Rai Mei. You look strong. Can you use a sword? Hmm. I've been known to swing one around from time to time. Oh. Then could you train with me? It would be an honor, my prince. You can call me Hikari. But, my prince, as your servants... There is no need for formalities among friends. Please, be a good one to Hikari. Of course, my lady. Show no hesitation, Master Hikari. The moment you draw your sword, you forfeit any expectation of mercy. I'll remember that. Train with me. Here I come. Uh, 
Quick, but your strikes have little impact. Hmm. So I'll just have to get stronger then. Wrong. Swordplay is more about technique than strength. The warriors of Clan Mei are known for their spear work, but I've always been partial to the blade myself. So, allow me to give you your first lesson. Achimon Jigiri! was a painful lesson, but I think I understand. But how? You executed it perfectly on your first try. Well, I had a good teacher. Thank you. I wager I'll be learning from you before long. I've never seen such innate talent. One more bout, Jinmei. <laughs> As you wish. You've gotten better, Hikari. Thanks to you and your brother. Now, one more. If you insist. That's... the Bell of Dawn. So there will be war again. Will you both go? Of course. I've pledged my spear to your clan. Mm. I want to go too. You're not ready, Master Hikari. We can't have our prince dying on us. Your mother awaits you in the city. Go to her. This will all be over soon. Be safe. You're our future. I just want to make you proud, Jinmei. You can do so by taking care within the city walls. Rumors abound that the people have turned to thievery. I'll keep my sword close. I promise. I hope to see you return soon. And safe. I'm already looking forward to our next training session. Lady Cora. There's no need for titles. I was born here too, lest you forget. I've brought Azuki porridge. Please, eat. We can't. If news of this reaches the castle, then... You kept my dear Hikari company, did you not? Consider this a gift in return for your time. Lady Kura. You are too kind. You treat us as equals. As friends, even. Words can't express how precious that is to us. Mother! There you are, Hikari. What are you doing in a place like this? You don't have to say anything. I know. These are our subjects as much as anyone. You just want everyone to be happy, no matter their birth. 
That's what I love about you, Mother. Hikari. A dark night has descended upon this world. The people have lost their way. You must be the beacon that guides them to a new dawn. What? The warmth in your heart will never be extinguished. Promise me you'll light the way for others when they are lost. I promise, Mother. Hello, Your Highness. <sighs> Mother, get behind me. What do you want? Money? Treasure? Not quite. We want your life. Nothing personal. I hope you understand. Not bad for a child. Mother! Hikari... Mother... No... If you want to blame something for this, blame this rotten nation. You'll pay for this. What's happening? <laughs> So nice to meet you. I believe you know my name. Hikari. I've had enough. Kill him. <laughs> I've been awaiting this moment for far too long. Brutes such as these exist only to be cut down. I'll be glad to help them along. <laughs> <laughs> Quench the flames. Call out to the night. Master Hikari! What... happened here? <laughs> Have you come to join them? My blade still hungers. Brother, get back! Come no further, Rai. I must stop Master Hikari. I cannot. Brother, what are you doing? <laughs> Forgive me, Master Hikari. <laughs> like a lamb to the slaughter. Brother! Uh, huh? A dream? Where am I? You're awake. If you're curious, we're in the castle dungeon. I thought for certain the fall would have killed you. But it seems the blood of Clan Ku is as stubborn as they say. I may. Even so, it ends here. You'll be executed on the morrow. By order of His Majesty King Mugen of Ku. I won't die here. There's still too much I must do.
Hmm. I've seen that look in your eyes before. I remember. On the battlefield. Even when our prospects were dire, you could inspire us to action with a single look. Keep moving forward, my friends. You were fond of that one. I see that part of you hasn't changed. So, how exactly are you planning on escaping this cell and getting on with this mission of yours? I'll find a way. I still believe you'll see reason. As if you know anything of reason. There are things I can't simply forsake, on the honor of my spear, and my brother. Junmei. Since time immemorial, Clan Ku has dyed the sands red with the blood of its enemies. And now they have designs to extend their grasp into the eastern continent. Our castle here is meant to be a cornerstone to conquest, and Clan Mei has been given the honor of safeguarding it. Clan Ku would see the world burn. For generations they were known as the Accursed Clan. On that day, I saw why. I saw the darkness within Hikari boil to the surface. Whatever its source, it is not of this world. Hikari butchered those thieves like cattle, but it was due to King Jigo's magnanimity that he was spared punishment. The incident was blamed on a group of dissidents who were inciting unrest against Clan Ku. The truth, however, was much more terrible than that. Oh, brother! Why? Why did this happen? <clears throat> It's all my fault. The one who arranged this attack on Hikari and his mother was me. <gasps> By the order of General Mugen, we were to kill the bandits afterwards. No one would remark on a few more bodies. I couldn't refuse. He threatened our destruction. Clan May is few in number. We can but obey. This doesn't make any sense. Why? Why do this? This isn't the future we envisioned. This isn't the path we hope to walk. I... I want you to tell me. Just what was the future we envisioned? After walking this bloody path for so long, I've quite forgotten. I just wanted to redeem myself to Master Hikari. Brother, what are you... Don't forget the ideals that led us here. I leave our clan in your hands, Rai. Brother! You dare show your face here after your failure. Words cannot express my shame. That wretched half-blood cannot be suffered to live. The failure was entirely mine, and I accept my punishment. 
I only beg you spare my clan. So long as they prove useful, I will leave them be. <laughs> May Clan May live on. Hikari. Raime? What was I... What happened? I don't remember anything. I'm scared of what flows through my veins. I... Jinmei? That wasn't you, Hikari. Don't blame yourself for my brother's death. Hikari, I realize now. The ideals we lived for were just illusions. But my clan is real, and I must keep them safe. So now I know what I must do. I'll protect House May in my brother's stead. We will survive, no matter the cost. Rhyme May. I made a promise to myself that day. If we go against Mugen's command, he will tear our clan out by the roots. It's becoming rather cold, lady. By that same token, if we pluck the seeds of rebellion from the earth now, Mugen will surely reward our loyalty. Are you truly considering putting Prince Hikari to the sword? I'm considering the fate of Clan May. The only path we can walk is the one which leads to our survival. Hmm. Surely you would agree, brother. What are you doing here? I'm here to ask you a question, Lord Hikari. Do you consider my lady to be a friend? Of course. I wouldn't have come here otherwise. I know she bears a great burden of responsibility. I know she suffers under the weight. Aye. For a long while, she has been trapped in the cage of her own fear. Ever since the day she lost her brother. <sighs> Master Kunzo. And killing you would only tighten the chains that bind her. But there is hope. I beg you, Lord Hikari. Sunder the shackles that stifle her. Free her from her cell. Thank you, Master Kunzo. You've given me great insight. I will do all I can.
my I still have much to learn. Pride of Ku. Are you my next patient? My task. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. Stand aside or fight. Now it has to be what is for the pride of Ku. Still have much to learn. No need for flattery. The rest of my soul. Ah, Hikari. I see Kunzo needs a stern talking to. Raime, do you really mean to follow Mugen blindly? Even if he leads you into an ocean of blood? <laughs> Mugen would have the whole world at his feet, but at the end of his path lies nothing. We have to stop it, or we are all lost. So that's the path you believe in, Hikari. My brother and I used to have faith in the future as well. But now there is only me. Not everyone can walk a path of their convictions. It never ends. One must be willing to leave everything else behind in their journey. And so instead of placing my faith in the future, I've chosen to put the safety of my clan above all. Raimei, we needn't walk separate paths. You said it yourself. You used to believe in a future where we look to each other for guidance, for support. Silence. We cannot quit the paths we make or we'll lose sight of ourselves. We must keep moving forward with our heads held high 
You know this, Raimei. I said silence, Hikari. It was your accursed blood that took my brother from me. The stain of Clan Kirk. I won't let it take anything from me again. Even at the cost of everything else, Clan May will endure. Right, May. This isn't the path I wanted to walk. And who among us chooses our own path? We've lost much and more on our journeys to this moment. But no matter what, I shall ensure the safety of my clan. Here I come. Blood boils. Sword My journey will not end here. I'm not... 
finished yet. I swore, I swore my clan would see no harm. My spear will not yield. Hikari. It was Clan May that took your mother from you. We sent the bandits that killed her. Forgive me. I know. I also know it was done by order of Mugen. You and yours are blameless. The sin lies on Ku's shoulders. My mother, your brother, they were both victims of our nation's cruelty. <laughs> I know you sought the same future as I, Raimei. A bloodless future. Peaceful future. <gasps> That's still attainable. We must cut Mugen down and steer Ku away from that ocean of blood. That is the path I've chosen. Forge it with me. I cannot do it alone. My clan! I... I was ready to kill you to keep them safe for the second time. It's too late for me. I've already bent the knee to Logan. I can't walk by your side. I can't. Kill me, Hikari. It's more than I deserve. will await you at Ku, Raimei. I have faith you'll come. <sighs>